What's going on guys? Chase on Two Wheels here with another first ride from Mountain Motorsports in Roswell. And today, the Ducati, the baby Ducati Monster 797 is getting the first ride. This is Ducati's smallest monster that they currently make. And uh, it has a scrambler engine. Pretty excited to check it out. Let us begin. So you guys, you have to forgive me. The uh, session is kind of blocking a, a little bit of the uh, tack, but I tried to position it over here on the wind on the mirror. It just wasn't working out. So, Ducati has a smaller monster. It cost under ten grand, and it should be a good time. We're in neutral, right? This bike is also air cooled, which is kind of uh, a throwback to the monsters and how like older bikes were. A lot of bikes were air cooled, which should be interesting. I don't know if we'll really see anything major in a first ride from that, but we'll find out. As far as seat position, uh, the seat's actually kind of high. I can just barely flat foot and my legs are fully extended. So I kind of expected it to be a little bit of a shorter bike, but it's definitely not. Good God. Dang. That shifter was like, don't. All right. Ugh. So supposedly, this is the same engine that's in a Scrambler, which is a pretty interesting situation. You do kind of getting all of the use out of this engine. Seating position wise, I'm kind of, I'm upright. I'm, I'm slightly bent over. I'm not really in an attack position or anything. And I'm not really laid back like a real comfortable thing. It's, it's more like, you know, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go to the mountains and have a good time or something or do some type of technical ride. Initially, the clutch feels good. Those Brembos feel nice. Oh, that character of a Ducati. Oh, I like it so far. There's, I know you pay more for a Ducati and I honest, wow, that shifter is not responding. I know you pay more for a Ducati and all. Oh, these neutrals, God, Ducati. You gotta get better about the neutral. It's you don't tell me. <laughs> I basically put myself into a false neutral right now. So I know you pay more for Ducatis. You know everybody knows that. But and I'm not saying it's worth a hundred percent of that extra money. But the amount of character you get out of a Ducati, you just don't get that in other bikes. And part of it is that grunty little feel. And I I really admire monsters. For the other four. that is an interesting looking car and i mean that and it looks kind of like a decepticon anyway <laughs> we're not talking about decepticon motorcycles man that session's in a, such a bad spot i've got my blinker on i'm not being a bad motorist but can't see it god i'm, I'm honestly scared to not hold my clutch in and it was in neutral okay it just wasn't showing me you pay a lot of money and you don't even get to know if you're in neutral or not come on i want to ride it come on Come on. I know you're red matching the bike and all, but come on. Yeah. Yeah, there's just a level of like grunty kind of feeling you get with this thing. I don't know if that's a cop, so I'm going to chill out a little bit. Oh, see that? That's what a lighter bike should be. It should be less engine but it should be still fun and it should have good brakes to stop at red lights and it definitely does have good brakes dang the shifter oh my goodness it sucks <laughs> chimney crimin okay officially worst part about this bike is the shifter without a doubt oh the neutral light came on i can look past the shifter but the bike's got to be legit 
so far it feels light standing up with it it's a little bit taller but I mean the bike's light and it should be you know I like how muted the engine sounds like I'm I told you guys in a couple first rides I'm not a huge fan of these super loud engines <laughs> you know okay so power wise off the line like that I feel like it doesn't feel as powerful as an FZ07 it feels a lot more kind of muted power not in a bad way not terrible but I feel like the FZ07 is a little more punchy and if you guys are curious Yamaha has an FZ07 it's it's kind of in the same class that this bike is that's its kind of competition and for an FZ07 you're looking at a lot cheaper of a price point but I also feel like you're not going to get as much character with an FZ07. Also, a lot of people have an FZ07. So, you're not going to have as unique of a motorcycle. Whereas, if you have a Monster 797, not as many people have that. I think the price for this bike is like right under 10 something like that. So, yeah, with, the, with this Monster, Ducati's giving you a price point to get in the game for less than 10 grand, which... You know, it's a smart move on Ducati's part. They give you a cheaper bike and not cheaper like in parts, but a lower cost bike gets you in the Ducati game and then hopefully they stick you in the game. You know, you, you upgrade from this to a Monster 821 or, you know, if you're crazy, a Panigale or something. The uh, turn signal feels like a really good spot. I like the feel of it. It's a little bit mushy, but that lets me know I'm clicking it, but it's not too mushy and it's not too clicky. I know these things are not something that makes a lot of sense or really is a big deal, but you know, if I'm riding a bike every day and I use my turn signals correctly, then that's something, you know, that matters. I gotta say, I really like the body position. I like riding more aggressively. I'm not a huge fan of riding in a kind of laid back. I don't know, I, I, I have a hard time really like kind of chilling out when i'm riding i'm always like on edge like having a good time so i kind of like this body position i've you know i'm kind of slightly attack i'll say that i'm slightly attack position this bike is really smooth off the line i will say that i, I like that oh my god another red light are you kidding me i'm testing the brembos that's what that's what that's for Wow, those lights are not, uh, the mirrors are not good, man. They're not as adjustable as they need to be. Objective, fix the mirrors in 16 seconds. Okay, there you go. That's, they can't adjust up though. Oh, sweet God. Okay, mirrors, you get a fail. You get a hard fail for this bike. I mean, it's not like most people keep mirrors on her anyway. You're going to get aftermarket and so put them off the end of the bar. Let's just be real with each other. So yeah, the clutch feels good when you're letting it out. Really smooth off the line. With this bike, you're getting a pretty minimal setup. The bike's got ABS on it. It doesn't have traction control. It doesn't have variable modes. And a bike doesn't have to have modes. It doesn't make it a good or a bad bike if it does or doesn't have modes. But, you know, it's with a 700 level bike. I don't know if you need modes. You know, you need modes when there is a ton of engine to mess with. You know, it doesn't have mode, so I'm going to throttle it up at this light and see what happens. You know, in the situation of I'm a new rider, I don't really know what I'm doing, I give it way too much gas. We'll see what happens. I can start to feel that air coolness though, because we're not, we haven't been moving a lot, we've been getting a lot of red lights. I can actually feel the bike heating up pretty quickly. I don't think I've ever had an air-cooled bike myself, so I don't really know what the long-term implications of an air-cooled bike are, but I can imagine if you live in a place like I do in Atlanta, then it is going to suck because you're going to st get stuck in traffic a lot. You're going to get really hot, which is not the most fun of things. It's being blocked. I appreciate it. Good man. Yeah, it's off now. <laughs> Again, proving that that session is in a terrible location. Oh, now he's going to think I'm racing him. Yeah. I don't think it has too much power, man. And I don't think it needs modes for sure. 
The turns are big go off, right? Okay, it's not like stuck on. So I'll do some more throttling up, but as far as I can tell right now, the power is not punchy enough to really need different modes because it's a very smooth bike. It throws you back a little bit, but you know, you would have to you'd have to clutch it to really to get it moving in a way like getting the front wheel up or something like that. Man, RIP those turn signals for real. All right, highway entrance of a 2017 Ducati Monster 797. Can't really accelerate more than that. God, these cars have been killing me lately. All right, let's see what the wind's all about. I kind of wish I had a gear indicator, I will say that. But if you don't have a lot in the bike, like if the bike is kind of supposed to be minimal, then a lot shouldn't be expected. Whoa! <laughs> that wind, though. So here's what I say about the wind. It's uh, I mean it's pretty bad. It's a naked bike with no windscreen. You should have expected a lot of wind. The one thing that's helpful is that I'm leaned over a little bit. So it kind of puts me in a position to be able to handle the wind a little better. If you have one of those bikes where you're upright, the wind will just push you back. But this thing, luckily, you're kind of, like I said, slightly attacked. So you're able to, you're already in it, you know, to, to push through. Let's get around all these cars. I wouldn't want to stay on the highway very long with this thing because I would get tired. But for short little rides, like a little commute, and obviously you're not gonna be going 95 on your commute, but let's see what else it's got. We're in six gear. Not bad for a little 700, man. Not bad. All right, we'll chill with that. Here's one area that I really appreciate the muted power of this bike where it's a lot linear you don't feel a punch of it in any certain spot if i'm on a commute and i'm modulating my throttle i'm able to easily just chill and modulate and do whatever i gotta do if i want to go faster there's not any big changes so it's really comfortable i could easily see going some some serious distance with this thing but i'd have to get a windscreen I do like the throttle response for uh, highway riding though. You can tuck in as well. You're going to get a little help, but that's mostly because you're getting more streamlined with your body. The wind's going to be bad. The wind's not going to be good on this bike. That's something you shouldn't expect, but I would say the wind is about as what you expected. Even on the highway, it feels good going back and forth. The bike might have traction control. I can't tell if it does or not. I get those little red lights, but I think that's the RPMs. That's saying, hey, you're gonna blow the bike up if you continue. Look at that, I can modulate the throttle and there's no like jerkiness. This is a much easier riding bike than, you know, its competitors. The uh... Oh shoot, I'm <laughs> glad I didn't wheelie it. So, I feel like this bike is a lot more of an easy riding bike. The, the throttle isn't as punchy as something like the FC07 or the SV650. It's a lot easier to ride, ironically. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? For you, that kind of depends. You know, do you want a twitchier bike? Or do you want something that's easier to ride, you know? It's different people are gonna want different things out of a motorcycle. Me, personally, you know, it's kind of like a day-by-day -day thing. Some days I want a little punchy bike like the FZ07 where I can like do little wheelies and shit like that. And then there's other days where, dude, I just want to chill. I just want to ride and have a good time. And in a situation like that, this is going to be the bike you want to go with. When it comes down to which 700 bike is best for you, you know, that kind of depends a lot. You know, do you want, do you, for one, do you have the money to buy a Ducati? Because it is significantly more expensive than an FZ07 or an SV650 or, you know, the bikes and the normal bikes in that range. The SV07, the aftermarket, you know, area for 
for parts is going to be I think a I would imagine it's gonna be a lot bigger than the Ducati Monster 797 the monster's been here for a while so there should be a lot of parts but I feel like parts for an FCS 7 will be a lot cheaper the big question for me with what bike you'd want to choose is kind of is having that you know that feeling of a Ducati that what do you call it what do you call what Ducati has a shitty gearbox is what I call it if having that refined feeling of a Ducati is something that's really important to you then I feel like you really need to at least go test bike test ride this bike out because it's really hard to convey over a video but Ducati's is specifically monsters they do have like a feeling to them that I don't think you get on an FZ07 you know they're they're both really good bikes but there's just that that little something <laughs> that little add of pepper or something that these these Ducatis have man and one thing I have noticed doing all the videos that I do Ducatis don't convey well over video I will say that I've done Panigales I've done monsters I've done Multistratas and the exhausts don't sound the same they they look great but it's just really hard to convey that little special something from a Ducati you need to you need to go ride it you need to go check it out and and figure it out for yourself one thing I like about this little monster is it's super light you know and it's got that little that consistent engine and throttle response it would be solid in the mountains because the thing you have to worry about in the mountains when you have a lot of power if you're coming out of a turn you give it too much power you can break your rear, rear you can break your rear wheels traction but with a light bike with consistent power it's got the light weight to just throw it into a turn but then it's got the easy power delivery to where you can just throttle on it and as the power is giving in it's just pushing you through that turn it it's a really good combo to have it might seem like a, a a punchier bike would be faster but that's actually not the case everything with a motorcycle is like ease like if you ease into everything you do then that's what is happening right now sorry that threw me off uh so with bikes it's not about the punchier thing is faster when you're talking about technical roads it's actually the smoother you are the faster you can go the smoother you let the throttle on through the turn the big for the sooner you can do it and the faster you can get through a turn it's it doesn't really work like you'd think it is at least for technical turns and stuff but this bike seems like the ideal type of thing to go to the mountains with or you know go do technical riding i don't think you'd like to do like a high speed track for a track day I don't think it'd be good for that. I mean, obviously you can get up to 120, but it's gonna take a minute to get there. You get on a long straightaway and you're sitting there like, give me more power. God, I wanna be in the mountains with this thing because I feel like that would be a spot where it would really shine. It's just so light. You know, I've ridden a, I've ridden a few monsters at this point and you guys need to know I'm slightly more biased. I'm, I'm really into the naked market right now those are pretty much my favorite bikes and uh so i'm a little biased I'm, I'm really into naked bikes right now so this is a good bike to ride and i've got the street triple 675 at home and these this is just my spot man that 6 700 range on a naked bike because that's where the power and weight kind of balance out the best if you ask me you get plenty of power and you get all the lightness that you need you know, I've, I've ridden the, the Monster 821, I've ridden the Monster 1200, and now I've ridden this bike, and if I was going to own one, I think, I think this is where I would want it to be. The 1200 was really good, but, you know, it's just a big bike. It's a lot to deal with. Whereas, I feel like I can have a lot more fun on this tiny little bike than I could on that big old thing. You know, it's it's really not all about power too many people in the motorcycle industry make it all about power it's like well i have a leader bike well i have a 600 well i'm better than you because i have a leader bike well, that's not true at all there are countless situations where a 600 would not only whoop a leader bike a leader bike being a 1000 cc bike 
And there are plenty of situations that aren't it that don't just involve how much power you have on your bike too many people don't really understand that i think that comes with riding though you, you spend enough time riding and you realize that engine your engine size is just one part of the entire motorcycle i am still trying to get this whole mirror figured out and it's just whatever i give up you can you can even tell when you rev this bike it's not, you know, you see some of these bikes that I ride, some of the, you know, inline fours, you rev and it goes, yo, yo. With this, uh, this twin, you get, uh, you get that consistent, all eat your children, all eat your children. It's a good feeling. You feel like you got some muscle around you, like in the engine of the bike. Look at that, that's full throttle. And you really don't go anywhere. <laughs> could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Only you can decide. Alright, let's pull into this parking lot and check this bad boy out. Ooh, engine braking feels strong. I like it. I feel good about it. So smooth, such a good engine. Smooth and everything, I love it. Really a fan of this engine right now. You know, for a bike that supposedly has the same engine as a Ducati Scrambler, this engine feels way better on this bike than it did the Scrambler. What am I doing? <laughs> trying to start it while it's going. All right, let's look at this thing. Ladies and gents, may I introduce the 2017 Ducati Monster 797. It's a good looking bike. I personally like the way the monsters look. I don't think they need to change the way the monsters look. I feel the same way about the uh, Triumph Street Triple. That bike has a look and it does not need to change. The air coolness wasn't too bad. The bike's not getting too hot once you get going. If you sit in traffic, I feel like you're going you're gonna to get a lot of heat going on. I love the tubing on the outside. Big fan of that. I love the red too, man. I personally, this bike also comes in a white tank. I, I am a huge fan of the white tank, red frame. That red frame is just photo wise. Whew, money, 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 all in the bank. Shorty, what you think? Tail's not too bad. Oh, it's got these little things, the little handles. So nice. You want to talk about ease of moving your bike around? That makes it super simple. If you guys can't see, they're right there. I mean, we all know that. I feel like the tank fits. Look at that photo, man. Look at that. We, you know, we got the muted colors. I'm about to have to take a photo of that because it just looks too good in this situation. Kind of wish the Brembos had a little red on them just to match up, but it's all good. So, okay, so I saw we have an ABS. Yeah, we have the little ABS circle on the front. Do we have ABS on the back? Yep, ABS on the back as well, awesome. It is also a dual-sided swing arm. It's not the single, which, you know, sad heart emoji. Oh, something else that's really cool on this bike. Old school Ducatis used to have this where you, you know, unclip this and the tank can come up. That's kind of like a throwback to the old school, which is pretty cool. I think it's an awesome little addition to it. I think the bike looks good, man. I think the bike looks really good. I want this to be black and I want these to be gold just saying all right so ladies and gents uh we're gonna get the bike cranked up and let you listen to the exhaust revs uh i do this for every first try to do and i also do a blog post on my website chase on wheels.com i take a really nice audio sample and i also take some really high res photos that you can download so if you want to check all that stuff out there will be a link in the description and on the screen right now if you guys click that i'll take you to my website and check out the blog post so you can check out this bike in all the other bikes that I have done in the past. But for now, on this little GoPro audio, we're going to hear this bike. 2017 Ducati Monster 797. <laughs> Side stand. Got it, bro. Thanks. One thing I've noticed about this bike that I, I, I think I like it is you see that the level, the, how loud it is right now, when you rev it, it really doesn't get that much louder than it currently is. I actually like that because, you know, with a Super Sport, sometimes it's, it's quiet and then it gets really loud. 
I think I would rather have it just be the decibel that it's going to be. Okay, now typically, this is where in the video I would go and leave, but with, the, with these photo conditions, man, oh, this is too good of a shot. We're going to have to take a photo. Nothing serious, just some boom, 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 pow. Done. Okay. All right, photos are taken. You got to... When you get a good looking bike, man, you gotta appreciate it. Alright, let us finish the first ride and cut to a shot of me on the bike now. <laughs> the way the bike starts is a little sketch. It's like, don't mind me. I just wanna know if it'll wheelie. Don't mind me at all. I've typically enjoyed 700cc bikes because of the wheeling potential that they all possess. Oh, you could wheelie it for sure. It would take some time, save some getting used to, but it's got the potential there. Yeah, you just gotta get the, get the monster underneath you, which is all pun intended. I was in second. I bet you I could have easily popped it up in first. Alrighty, ladies and gents. So, in conclusion, what do I feel about the Monster 797 from Ducati? Uh, I feel like it's got a, a lot of its little pizzazz factor that most Ducatis have. I think the power delivery is... I was using the word muted earlier, but I don't think that's a good word. I think I should use the word, like, linear. There's at no point in the power does it feel like it really hits you hard. Like I said, good thing or a bad thing, whichever it depends on you. I feel like the body position is pretty, can I, I would say mildly aggressive, which I like a lot. The seat, very comfortable. Uh, it's also a little bit of a taller bike. And I feel like it looks fantastic. I mean, it looks like a monster. You know, it, if you get a monster, you know what the expectation is, hopefully. As far as who I would recommend this to, I don't know, man. So if you go to the mountains a lot and you like technical riding, I think the power delivery actually does a really good job of delivering the power in a way that makes it easy to ride fast. And I also feel like the power delivery is relaxed enough to be able to enjoy it just casually riding, which I appreciate that a lot. I guess it's my old age talking, but a bike don't gotta be as punchy, you know what I mean? I also feel like the balance between the size of the bike, the engine, and the power is has a really good balance with this bike. I feel like everything just kind of fits. It's nimble enough to have a really good time on and has enough power to really accelerate you through that fun having. To be honest, I wish it was a little shorter. I wish the seat was just down a little bit more but that's probably the only like major change i would have it's got you know it's got the abs which is nice you know if, if i was going to be picky i'd ask for traction and control if i'm going to pay so much more than an fz09 or an sv650 i would ask for traction control but you know i also know there's a ducati tax is what they call it sometimes as far as my uh five pixel helmet scale I don't know. I'd probably give this thing a... I think I'll, I'll stick it at four. Four helmets. You know, there's there's a few things I, I would change. The price is a little higher than other bikes in its class. Doesn't feel like it has quite as much power as those bikes, but character-wise, it's really high. Character, by the way, was the word I was thinking about earlier and couldn't, think, couldn't uh, vocalize it. But yeah, I'm going to stick with four helmets. Four out of five. Four to five, not bad, would ride. Oh man, that air coolness, I can feel it. Oh, that flicks back, that's awesome. Oh, another side note, the gearbox, way too clunky. It is, it, like, I mean, it's almost typical for Ducatis at this point, but it's hard to find neutral. Gears are very, like, punchy. And it's good to have punchiness in gears because you want to know when you shift, but it's a little... It's a little too clunkily, clunkily, oh my god. It's not as refined as it needs to be, especially for an almost $10,000 motorcycle.
So guys, before I head out of here, gotta say a massive shout out to my guys over at Mountain Motorsports in Rossville. They are the awesome dealer that allows me to ride whatever the hell bike I want so I can tell you guys the experience I get of riding them for the first time to kind of help your buying position and let you know what the bike's like to ride for the first time. I know a lot of you guys aren't able to just go to your dealerships and ride whatever bike you want. So hopefully this helps you out. And if this video did help you out, make sure to share it out to somebody that might be looking for this bike or other bikes that have done first rides on. I really appreciate them and they allow me to do these videos for you guys. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for the 2017 Ducati Monster 797. I personally feel like this is the money zone for the Monster. This one feels weight-wise and power-wise the best balance. So good job, Ducati. I'll give you a solid Baker X, Derek, uh, you know, Chia situation. Hey, guys, that's it for me. This has been a Chase on Two Wheels First try, and I will see you guys on the next one. Which will be on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday like every one of my videos. You guys ride safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. All that to say, the mirrors still suck ass.